A number of structures pass between the thorax and abdomen via openings in the diaphragm. There are three large openings for the iota, esophagus, and inferior vena cap. We are going to start with the aortic hiatus. This is the aortic hiatus. It is the most posterior inferior of the large openings. found at the level of the lower border of the 12th thoracic vertebrae and it is slightly to the left of the midline. The aortic hiatus is an osseo-aponeurotic opening defined by The diaphragmatic crura laterally. This is the left and the right. Diaphragmatic crura. It is limited by the vertebral column posteriorly and the median acrurate ligament anteriorly. The aorta therefore passes posterior to the diaphragmatic musculature and is not affected by its contraction. As you see, the aortic hiatus transmits the aorta and the thoracic duct that is colorated in green, in addition to a few lymphatic trunks. No. Let's describe the esophageal hiatus. This is the esophageal hiatus. It's a muscular, elliptic and extensible opening to the diaphragm. It's located at the level of the 10th located at the level of the 10th thoracic vertebrae. It's anterior superior to and a little bit to the left of the aortic hiatus. It transmits the esophagus This is the left vagal nerve that is located anteriorly to the esophagus and this is the right vagal nerve that is located posteriorly to the esophagus. We are going to finish with the caval opening. This is the caval opening. It is the most superior of the three large openings. It lies at about the level between the eighth and the ninth thoracic vertebrae. It's located in the central area of the tendon to diaphragm and it is transverse by the inferior vena cava and by some branches of the right phrenic nerve. I hope everything was clear. If uh, you like uh, the video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget also there are a lot of interesting videos to watch, so keep following.